Hello dear students, in this video we will look validation parameter that is LOD and LOQ. We will see all the calculation in Excel, limit of detection and limit of quantification. So like the video and subscribe the channel for more updates. So let's see firstly and procedure to prepare an helicots. Weigh accurately 100 mg of standard substance of paracetamol. You need to know the relation that is 1 mg it is equal to 1000 microgram. Dissolve 100 mg of paracetamol in 100 ml of 0.1 normal NaOH solution. So the stock solution it will be of 1000 microgram per ml or 1000 ppm. So how it becomes a 1000 ppm? We have dissolved 100 mg into an 100 ml. So by solving this equation, it will be milligram per ml and after that milligram it is converted into a microgram. So one milligram it is equivalent to thousand microgram. So thousand microgram per ml. So this will be the stock one of thousand ppm. From above stock solution, take one ml and dilute up to hundred ml. So it will become 10 ppm solution. So let's see the calculation. We have taken 1 ml and we have diluted into 100 ml. Concentration it was 1000 microgram per ml. So now the concentration it is 10 microgram per ml or 10 ppm. And finally for LOD and LOQ, pipette out 0.1 ml, 0.2 ml, 0.3 ml, 0.4 ml, 0.5 ml and 0.6 ml respective solutions and uh, dissolve all this in 10 ml of 0.1 normal NH. prepare this in volumetric flask of 10 ml so prepare this six uh, dilutions of varying concentrations uh, we have taken 0.1 ml and dissolved in 10 ml and uh, the concentration it was 10 ppm of the solution by solving the equation so we got 0.1 ppm solution so now let's see the calculation part now we are in microsoft excel uh, so this is observation table for lod and loq and these were the concentration that we have prepared as per the procedure now we need to record an absorbance and after that we will see all these parameters After recording a spectrum, I have got this value of an absorbance at particular concentration. After that, I need to calculate a standard deviation. So for calculation of standard deviation, press keyboard. And after that, press STD. So you will get this standard deviation. Now select the cells. So this will be the value of a standard deviation after pressing an enter. After that for calculation of a slope, press equal to SLO slope. So this slope it will come. See here important to know is that uh, known YS and known XS. So Y coordinate it has an absorbance and X coordinate it has an concentration. So select ys firstly after that put a comma and after that x that is concentration part and press enter so you will get the slope after that lod so the lod formula for lod it is 3.3 .3 into standard deviation divided by slope so standard deviation and slope we are having these values and for LOQ, 10 into standard deviation divided by slope. Now we'll set the formula. Press equal to, press bracket, 3.3 .3 and standard deviation. So for standard deviation, firstly press the star and then select the standard deviation cell. After that, complete the bracket, divide it by slope. 
and press enter you will get the value for LOQ press equal to after the bracket 10 into standard deviation complete the bracket divided by slope so as per the definitions of LOD and LOQ limit of detection and limit of quantification so this 0.66 limit can be detected by UV spectroscopy and limit of quantification that is 2.02 .02. So this limit, from this limit, we can start our accuracy, precision and all the validation parameters that we require like linearity range. So from 2 ppm, we can uh, we can start our linearity and range values. So minimum it should be 2 ppm. These uh, LOD and LOQ respectively, so it will be in ppm and standard division slope, these are not having any units. If you are having any doubt, you can comment me in comment box, I will answer it.